Taking advice from a beta male can be detrimental when it comes to dealing with women on a daily basis and operating within a relationship. Because a lot of these guys I found, first of all, they're scumbags. They do a lot of lying. Now, it, I, I know that we all know a particular guy that uh, uh, guy had a huge uh, following. And everything was red flag man this, a red flag man this, a man needs to love you like this, a man needs to show you this, a man has to do this, man has to put you up here, a man has to put you over there. And come to find out, this motherfucker got more red flags and uh, he do opposite of everything he t trying to tell you what to do. Not that I give a damn about what he's doing. I don't have a problem with what he's doing. But I, I, it's a lot of guys out here that 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 they will uh they would they would take that advice that he's given to heart. And I found a lot of these guys. Uh, most of them are raised. If they raised in a two parent home, their uh, their father was not a leader in that home. Their father was the type of guy that allowed their mother to lead him around. And like I say, sure, he bought home the bacon, but that's about it. He didn't make no decisions on uh, the kids' school. He didn't make no decisions on uh, uh, where they was going to stay, what kind of house they were going to buy, the cars they bought. He found himself always trying to give that woman everything she wanted. And we know what that gets you when you're trying to give a woman everything she wants. Um, uh, and these guys come from this type of home where the woman pretty much is the leader and the dad is the follower. Like the woman uh, has such an influence over the father until uh, these are the type of niggas that have, uh, they'll pull a Will Smith. If somebody say something disrespectful to their wife, instead of them saying, look, man, I, will, I, I want you to apologize. If not, then we're going to have to leave. Uh, they won't take the result of violence unless... Uh, that's an imminent threat that violence is about to uh, be administered to them. They look, they, they, the only, the only resolution is violence. They have no ability to think, and they mom, that their mom can, uh, so, so to speak, order the cold red, or make them execute order number fifty three. And that's the type of influence that their mom had and, they, and these kids sit around and they watch their dad operate like that so, and so that their mom kind of uh, uh set, set the set set the parameters on how he's supposed to conduct himself as a man and the other way is a lot of these guys are raised by single moms and them being around their mom of course they're going to pick up all their uh, their feminine ways their emotional traits or uh, handling problems uh only to appease their feelings at the moment. They don't think about no long-term results. Nothing long-term. It's a constant dose of whatever I'm feeling, that's how I'm going to react. Whatever I feel, that's how I'm going to uh, uh, how I'm going to uh, handle the problem until my feelings no longer hurt. Not, I'm a result of violence because I'm doing it on principle. Uh, vice versa on how I feel. And see, that, that's where you got a lot of these guys. So what they do is they coerce yourself into uh, putting women on a pedestal. That's how you, you listening to those guys get you heartbroken. And once you get heartbroken, man, you can you, not only will you give up a lot of years to the person that's no good, then you give up, I mean, while you're with them. So you're with them, and during that 20 years, you are with the person that is going to uh, betray you. Or, or 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 leave you or break their promises and then the years after you're not with that person trying to recover so that shit can last anywhere from 10 years if you've been with a mother for 20 years before you get right back on your feet and see these type of guys listening to this bullshit they sell you man you'll be right in there with them man you, they'll put your ass in the hucker book man they will you, you will allow them to talk you into trying to uh uh uh, uh a, a piece of woman which you never can and you'll be the one on the short end of the stick apologizing for shit you ain't really got no business apologizing about stuff that she do to you that you gotta take she'll make you feel like you gotta give up your life you gotta take all her bullshit and you cannot take the blame and, and you gotta take the blame for everything that she do wrong and, and you do wrong she'll take away your kids she'll do all that shit 
Listening to these guys will get you fucked up from the flow up, guys. And that's why I tell you, man, don't listen to that stuff, man. Don't listen to it. The best influence you can have over yourself is your own mental influence. Where you do what you want to do. Where you act the way you want to act. Your action display of what you think. Not by her influence. Not by if you don't do this, then I'm going to leave you. If you don't do this, I don't think you're going to protect me. If you don't do this, then I'm not going to, uh, uh, you're not going to be able to get this from me. Nah, fuck that shit, man. These, they, these are the type of women that will get you into debt, make you buy cars in that home that you can't afford, where you got to work an extra 12, 13 hours. Uh, excuse me, now this wind blowing. Like, this, this wind blowing. It could not end. But uh, you got to work 12, 13 hours a day, six days a week, just to try to buy this woman everything that she wants and give her everything that she asks for. And today she might want this, tomorrow she might want that. And no matter how much you give to her, guys, she's the only thing she's not going to appreciate. It. The only thing she's going to say is, I deserve this. You're supposed to do this. It's not going to be, it, it'll be thank you up front. Oh, thank you, thank you. They'll say that shit up front, but deep down inside, uh, when you come back and say, man, you ain't appreciate I bought you a brand new house. No, no, I deserve a brand new house. All I do, what the fuck did you do? I deserve a new car. I deserve this. And I'm telling you guys, they just don't appreciate it. They just will not appreciate it. So that's why you cannot go around and uh, thinking that, hey, I'm going to put this woman up and uh, uh, I got to do this for this woman to stay. No, she should stay because she want to stay. She should stay because you in your normal capacity. You operate your normal way and she's supposed to integrate herself into your life. You ain't supposed to go outside of your way of living just to uh, try to... Try to uh, basically do everything for her and and and, and uh, uh try to what's the word I'm looking for try to make sure that all her emotions are taken care of and all her needs are taken care of and, I, and I'm not saying that you don't take care of all her needs but guys uh her needs will be taken care of just by you just living your normal life, guys. Now, I'm not saying that you can't do nothing for the woman. I'm not saying if, like, look, if you look outside, she needs she, she, she need a new car, and y'all pay by the uh, car lot. You, she seen one she like. You can afford it. Uh, it's time to get a new car. It's within your budget. That's what you should do. You shouldn't go. She walk outside. She don't even need a car. She want a car. Then she wants you to buy a high price car out of your budget. You know that damn. I gotta make overtime in order for me to pay this, pay for this car. Nah, man, you don't do no shit like that. But if that woman has that influence over you, she got that influence over you guys. You're going to buy the car. You're gonna buy when when they come back with the uh, the loan officer come back and tell you that this is the amount of house you can afford a uh, four hundred thousand dollar house. Man, this woman might want you to get a three hundred seventy-five thousand dollar house when you know you only need a two hundred thousand dollar home, or two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. She'll make you take that extra hundred thousand dollar off, and then make you put all kind of funds in it. Oh, I deserve this. I don't want nothing less. I like nice things. I, I'm not for man. No, guys. No, no. Hell no. That's the influence. When you don't run your house, that's the type of shit you end up in. You end up with in, in physical abuse. Physical abuse and your influence. She will influence the hell out of you. And then you'll think that if you don't get it, you're wrong. If you don't get it, you're wrong. And these guys will make you think by listening to them that that is your duty. That's not your duty, guys. Let me. At the end of the day, and I'm going to cut this video short. At the end of the day. Born by yourself, and they're going to put your ass in that goddamn coffin by yourself. Ain't nobody going in there. So you on that now woman, and now woman make you do some shit that you know better than. And don't ever love no woman, no un unconditional. The only person you love unconditionally is your mama. And if some of y'all mamas that ain't no good, you got to be careful about them. But at the, la at, the, at the least, they gave you life. So always love them. If it's not un unconditional, then damn it, love them at least more unconditional or, or, or love them more than you would love a woman that you just met.
that didn't give you life. Don't never love no woman unconditionally. Because if you love her unconditionally, unconditionally, that means you got to put up with anything she say. Anything she say. Anything she do. You got to put up with it. And you can't put her away. And I mean put her away, leave her ass. Anyway, guys, until next time. Peace.